Abomination vs. General Zod. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Let's get it. It's your boy Dyson. Let's go. Abomination is Emil Blonsky. He was a soldier who got a super soldier serum similar to that of Caps, and he was basically completely mutated once the DNA of Bruce Banner, the blood of the Hulk himself, was put into his body. He mutated and became the Abomination. In 2008's The Incredible Hulk, Hulk was at least 9 feet tall. And the thing is, the Abomination is larger and two times stronger, so go figure. Two times stronger than base Hulk, that is. Anyways, the Abomination is of course a nemesis of the Hulk, and he's able to go blow for blow with him, as we all know. He has these bone protrusions all over his body, these bone growths that protect his organs, some of which can be used as weapons, like bone spikes and whatnot. It is known that the Abomination can lift 100 tons, but he could probably lift even more easily, in fact. The same goes for General Zod. Now, when talking about the Abomination, we know that he's completely bulletproof, even against high-caliber weapons. He's very, very, very durable. He's able to survive explosions from rocket launchers. At the end of an extremely intense battle, a very vicious brawl. He survived being stabbed with his own bone spike and, spoiler alert, choked out by the Hulk in 2008's The Incredible Hulk. In Shang-Chi, we see that the Abomination can even go up against sorcerers like Wong. He was, of course, in a friendly fight with Wong, but regardless, he shows his strength here, proving that the Abomination himself is one of the only beings in the MCU that can knock himself out. Now, on the other hand, we got General Zod. General Zod was considered a heretic. He was considered an extremist. He was a warrior born from the birthing codex. And the thing is, he was born with the sole purpose of being Krypton's savior. He was going to ensure the survival of his species by absolutely any means necessary, no matter how many men, women, children, whoever had to die for him to achieve his goals. He has heat vision that is on par with Superman's and Man of Steel. He has many abilities, like Superman, since he is in fact a Kryptonian who is powered up by being exposed to the Earth's sun, like Supes himself. So yeah, the only difference is, well, one of the major differences, I should say, is the fact that Zod is not afraid to hurt people in the process. He's not afraid of collateral damage and genocide. He's literally a warrior born with the sole purpose of ensuring the survival of his people. And so, like he says, every action he takes, no matter how cruel or how violent, in the end, it is for the greater good of his people and to serve his species. General Zod has an exosuit made of Kryptonian metals that is very, very durable and powerful, but he himself can break this suit directly off, exposing himself completely to the Earth's sun as the black suit absorbs the Earth's sun granting him the ability to use the full extent of his power, as seen here. Overall, Zod's plan in the end was to completely terraform the Earth into a copy of Krypton, and then repopulate it with clones of Kryptonians. Zod has all of the abilities of Superman, he's just not as used to using them as Superman is. Now without further ado, let's get into the fight. Zod charges the Abomination with his exosuit on. He runs up so fast that he blitzes the Abomination, punching him in the face as he goes flying into the ground. He goes running directly at the Abomination. Abomination gets up as Zod fires his heat vision at the Abomination, slicing through his shoulder. He runs up and he punches Zod so hard. Zod tries to block, but Abomination's vicious punch sends him flying so hard he goes soaring through multiple buildings before he lands, crash landing down into the concrete. 
Abomination runs, leaping through the air as he lands directly in front of Zod. The Abomination kneels down, socking Zod, punching him over and over and over again, brutally beating him down as Zod punches him in the face so hard he goes flying back multiple feet, at least a hundred feet, as he slams down and then Zod runs up with super speed. He stops in his tracks and he fires his heat vision at the Abomination. The Abomination leaps over him and lands behind him, turning around back backhanding him so hard he goes flying through multiple buildings. Abomination leaps into the building as he then runs up to Zod as Zod leaps through the air and gets gripped up by his throat. He karate chops the shit out of the Abomination in the throat causing him to drop him to the ground. The Abomination then kicks him and he goes flying before the Abomination catches Zod by his leg and slams him down through the floor. Abomination leaps down on top of Zod. They go through multiple floors before before finally landing on the bottom floor. Abomination stomps Zod over and over and over before he breaks out of his exosuit and flies directly at the Abomination, impaling him with a punch straight through his chest plate. The Abomination goes to grip his skull up as Zod shoots his heat vision straight at his hand. It burns directly through the Gamma Being's flesh, slowly burning through before it breaks through, hitting him in the skull. The beam hits him in both eyes as it begins burning through his skull before finally shooting straight through his head, exiting out the back, frying his brain completely. Winner, General Zod. Anyway, it's been your boy Dice, and I'm out.